Now to a warning, a real warning, about a staple of the American diet, a food many of us and many of our children eat for breakfast. It is rice. It appears in so many of the foods we eat. And the issue here is arsenic. The federal government has just completed the biggest study ever on arsenic and rice. And ABC's chief health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, is here. So, Dr. Besser, tell us, what did they find? Yeah, I mean, this was a big study. They tested 1,300 products that, that contained rice in some form. And they found inorganic arsenic, which is the most dangerous kind, in just about all of them. You know, ironically, brown rice, which we say is the healthiest, had the highest levels because of the shell that's on that rice. The FDA says that the levels are not such that it will cause immediate or short-term health effects. But the big question is, will long-term exposure to this cause problems with cancer and problems to your heart and your lungs. But this is alarming and begs the question, what should we do when it comes to eating rice, especially when feeding newborns, which is usually an introductory food? Yeah, I mean, there, there are several things that you can do here. You know, when you're cooking rice, you want to rinse it until the water runs clear, and that will take some of the arsenic out. Cook it in excess water, and some of the arsenic will be left in that water when you put it behind. But vary your diet. Don't have rice every day. Mix in other grains. And as a pediatrician, you know, when I talk now to parents about starting their first food, you know, we're no longer saying go with rice cereal as your first cereal. Mix it up. You can still have some rice cereal, but you can go with other grains and vegetables and, and, and meats, and that'll be just fine. Some good tips, especially coming on the heels of the apple scare, uh, apple juice scare as well. So. That's right. Well, and the hope is that, you know, they now have a limit for arsenic in, in apple juice. Hopefully in the future, they will come up with a limit for arsenic in rice. All right, Rich, some great advice. Thank you.